That's right, the great American eclipse. Happy total solar eclipse Monday. The world excited, everybody all around America excited. I'm Dave Elliott here in the WLOX studios with you on this April 8th as we have the solar eclipse going on. You see up in the corner there, ABC News continuing coverage. Noah Noble right down there. We're gonna get to him in a second. A lot of people out with their special eclipse viewing glasses. And uh, Noah, we're uh, getting pretty close. Are you seeing a, a lot of folks down there at Jones Park? Well, Dave, yeah, we're seeing a good number of folks. There's a lot of people with their kids out here hoping to see something, and a lot of them have glasses that look kind of like this. You can see very stylish. However, if you put these on, you're practically blind. I feel like these are the equivalent to the goggles that police give to, uh, you know, impaired driving goggles. You really can't even see anything out of this. And I'm no meteorologist, but I would say today's forecast is cloudy with a chance of eclipse because the cloud cover out here, I mean, I couldn't even tell you where the sun is besides up. However, there's still some kind of cool things to look at around here. I'm going to step behind the camera and I'm going to show you some pretty cool clouds action out here. I know this will make the meteorologist a little, a little jealous out there. If you look at those clouds, let me get you in focus here. Look at those wavy clouds. The sun, of course, obscured somewhere behind those. But there are some very interesting clouds out here. So if you're hoping to see the eclipse, well, at least you'll get to see some pretty cool clouds. There's a good bit of people over there by the pavilion. There's some kids over here by the park behind me. But of course, you can't really see anything. Now, if you can't see the eclipse today, the next time you're going to see it, I believe is in 20 years, sometime in 2044. So it's going to be a little while from now. Of course, the last time we saw it was seven years ago in 2017. But, you know, living on a wing and a prayer right now, hoping to see something. Of course, we're going to stay out here. We're going to talk to some people, see how they feel about possibly seeing this eclipse or even missing, missing it. Of course, out here in Jones Park, Noah Noble, WLOX News Now. Appreciate that so much, Noah. And again, you see ABC's coverage up there in the corner. ABC has been all over this. Uh, the arc of this eclipse down in Texas has been fantastic, moving through the Midwest, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana. Ending, and this would be a beautiful scene, wouldn't it? Caribou, Maine. That's going to be at about uh, 2 30 our time tonight. We've got this total eclipse covered for you today on WLOX News. We'll have reports for you a little bit later. Stay with ABC and see it as it's happening in real time. I'm Dave Elliott, and we're going to get back to our regularly scheduled programming.